26 years. Three, four. Four DACA cards. And a few DACA ID cards later. Today, Jorge de la Cruz is now a permanent U.S. resident. Numbness almost. And then just a sense of relief and happiness and like a, it felt like shackles were being removed from my feet, from my hands. For the last two years, Jorge was working towards obtaining a spousal visa, a process that can take upwards of six years. When it comes to marriage, you know, uh, it's not that easy. Why? Because the process in itself is you proving to the, to the U.S. government that it is a legitimate relationship. Like him, there are nearly half a million immigrant spouses of U.S. citizens that could benefit from President Biden's executive order, which offers legal status and a pathway to U.S. residency. A dream even for Jorge, who's been breaking barriers in the state for years. I was a state worker uh, first, and then I became Governor Newsom's first DACA appointee. Biden's plan would allow immigrants to apply for work permits and deportation protections if they have lived in the country for at least 10 years. And while details have yet to be released, the new policy promises to facilitate and shorten the process. Well, as it stands right now, most of those individuals would have to leave the country in order to attend a consular interview, and a majority of them would also need to apply for an extreme hardship waiver, and that process could take up to six years or more, including the fact that they would have to leave the country. If upheld, this policy would be the largest government program for undocumented immigrants in DACA, which just marked its 12th anniversary. When I got my green card, it's like, that's it? No more DACA? Like, I don't have to pay these fees and I don't have to report myself you know, to immigration. And it's important to note that at this time, there is no date set for when the program starts. So the only thing that people can do right now is gather all those important documents and wait for an update. Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News.